This is what I call magnetic entanglement. Does this remind you of anything? And this is a demonstration of a magnetic bearing that I built using N52 neodymium magnets. I think I speak for all of us when I say magnets are fascinating and super fun to play with. But be careful and wear eye protection if you slam them together because bad things can happen. I've been exploring different kinds of magnetic couplings. This iron stone will spin for a long time because the friction is so low. And this shows how an electric motor works by using opposing magnetic forces to spin a rotor. I'm also doing some research on magnetic suspensions for some future builds. By assembling two or more magnetic arrays together, you can create your own magnetic coupling. These couplings allow motion in certain directions but restrict motion in other directions. I like how bouncy magnetic fields are. They remind me of these springy bubbles. But magnetic bubbles seem way bouncier than normal springs because normal springs absorb energy through friction and heat. But it seems like these magnetic bubbles conserve energy. But what do these magnetic bubbles look like? Using this magnetic field viewing film, we can look at the magnetic bubbles, the magnetic fields, and see the North Pole and the South Pole. Normally, bearings wear out faster the faster you spin them, but these magnetic bearings work great at high speeds, and they create very little heat, very little friction, and almost no noise. The only thing slowing this down is the wind resistance, and the tip of the shaft against the wood to keep it constrained axially. If you spin a magnet really fast at around 10,000 RPM, it's possible to achieve magnetic levitation, or what I like to call magnetic entanglement. Here's another demonstration of magnetic entanglement. I created six of these planetary magnets that orbit around the sun, the middle magnet. You can see they're all stuck in a fixed orbit around the center magnet because they're attracted to the middle, but they're prevented from coming in by the intermediate row of magnets that's repelling them. This arrangement reminds me of electrons orbiting around the nucleus of an atom. And it makes me wonder if our planetary solar system is just a great magnetic entanglement. What do you think?